Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisa, so great to have everyone here. I am here right now to do the message for the next 24 to 48 hours, which is September the 16th and September the 17th is 2023. Of course, everything that you're gonna to need to know about me is gonna be right down below and it is in our description box. I'm really excited about doing today's message because I'm gonna be adding a little bit more in this message. So we will pull a couple of runes. We'll be opening up a whole new deck right here. So whatever the sign I'm reading for, you're the first. We open up this new deck right here with and we're going to get a message for us. So I hope you have some time to stick around. But anyway, let's see what we have here. All right, let's see, we're going to pull from this deck right here, which element will start the kickoff here for September the 16th and September the 17th is 2023. And we have the swords right here. So this is air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini's. Okay, so welcome air signs. Really, really good to have you guys here in the energy. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up the deck first. I'm going to use the runes far as first is divination but i'm just going to go ahead and open this up so it already be ready here for us okay so this deck right here is called the starman tarot i always love this deck this deck right here i had to get a new deck when i had moved because it had got damaged and i said i'm gonna get a new starman tarot deck and i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it right anyway here it is now so we just open it just like that i'm gonna put it back as you can see okay so let open it and the artwork is just so it's just so beautiful to me. I really love, 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 love this deck. Okay, but anyway, the Storm and Tarot. So we open it up here now. And we get into the deck finally. That was the book. Alright, so here is the deck here. Alright, now we have our deck out right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it and activate it. And then I will use the runes and we'll get back to the deck again. Okay. So all that back in there okay cool. let's see if i can put that right there i'm not sure but anyway yeah, all right so right here right here go the deck let's open it and get it activated here okay okay so now we have the deck here it's open i'm going to take this top one off right there and i see one in the back here that i'm also going to take off right here hmm very interesting. Hmm. Very interesting there. Anyway, okay. So let's go ahead and um get this deck activated here. One, two, three. Mm. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, that's how I activate my cards. And that, that deck right there is waiting for us to use it, but we're going to do the runes first, okay? So, Air Sun, it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, let's see what we got going down right here for you, okay? Air signs right here, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Once again, this is September the 16th and September the 17th. It's 2023, please, for air signs. What is the energy for air? Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, please. So it's circle the angels. Air. Okay. So we have it. It's all right here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these back in here. These crystals right here that I use is called Green Adventuring. And they are for prosperity, blessings, money, and luck. That crystal, okay? So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in this energy. See, we have one down here for you. So we have right here, this one is Pertho. And Pertho represent by fate, by chance. Something here could be a mystery. Some secret. Destiny here. Hmm, okay. Let's see what this one is. Hagalize. Wow. So this one right here, I'm getting like once in a blue moon or supernatural. This one right here. But anyway, this one it is the name of it is um Hagalaz. And it represents an obstacle or being tested. Right. Um, it represents wrath or nature in some type of way. So I feel like once in a blue moon. Now when we had the blue moon not too long ago, we had a category five hurricane at the same time we had two moons in a month which is once in a blue moon that happens so i feel like something that's going on right here it, it could still be the energy of once in the blue moon that we just now had or this is right here the next 24 hours something here is still very supernatural here i feel yeah something's unexpected in the next 24 hours absolutely because let me show you this room okay so this room right here is blank on that side right let's flip it over blank 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 Right, so this is a blank room, and the blank room represents something here being once again by chance or unexpected. Okay, so something here is unexpected here. It's a type of way. 
Definitely. Okay. Now we have right here. Maybe this is an Aquarius. Now this card, this um, room doesn't mean Aquarius. It represents um, humanity. The name of it is Manaz. But when I think about humanity, I think about uh, the sign of Aquarius. I'm not sure what something here to do with Aquarius. But anyway, um, this could also represent help, cooperation, and friends or society right here. Okay. So see, something here could be definitely unexpected right here about friends. Humanity, society, some type of way. Maybe something unexpected about that. Maybe something here is unexpected about nature. What's the type of raft or obstacle? Once again, I told you guys, once in a blue moon, we had a hurricane category five. Category three or five it was, right? Yeah. So I'm getting like here with the Pertho. It's like once in a blue, once in a blue moon, supernatural, right? Because Pertho represents destiny, some secret. Mystery. Something here happened by chance or fate. So unexpected right here. Something here is happening by fate or chance. Okay. I feel like an Aquarius, but it could be anybody. Okay. Because this reading right now is for, you know, all the air signs. Aquarius, Leap, and Gemini. But anyway, let's do the cards now. Shall we here? This is air. Aquarius, Leap, and Gemini. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. September the 16th and the 17th. You know what, Air Signs? I forgot in the beginning of the video to ask you guys where you're watching from, okay? Because I like to shout out everyone, right? So, Air Signs, today I'm going to be shouting out. Um, let's see who it is now. This is Miss Deborah from Dallas, Texas, and we have Miss Amelia from St. Louis. I'm so grateful and thankful that you guys like my channel and my tarot messages. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe, and even share it. But I'm so grateful and thankful that um, you guys do like this channel. So I will be shouting out you to, to thank you for watching these videos. Okay, so let's see what we have going on here. All right, air, crazy, Libra, Gemini, Pace, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, let's see what we get here. Brand new deck right here, air signs. September, let's see what the date is again here. 16th and the 17th of 2023. 16th and the 17th of 2023, please. Air. And we have here the magician. Hmm. The magician card. And the fool. Hmm. The magician and the fool. So it's unexpected right here. Once again, unexpected. We said that in the rooms. Something is unexpected about a Gemini, a Virgo, or Aries. It's definitely unexpected right here, I feel. Right here, right? If somebody's caught or they're stuck or something like that, I get a sense of some trap, right? See? See that? Right? What's unexpected? You didn't step into the trap. Something like that could be the case here, okay? Some, some magician right here. Could be a magic spell. One way it could be. All right. The fool, you protected. Some magic spell. I don't know if something here. Something could. I don't know what the hell. Okay, because that that feel like uh, the horns or um. I don't, I don't know if this is a dark magic spell or what. Okay, but anyway, yeah, if it is, I feel like somebody's regret about it or something like that. Okay, what's the message here, please? Air, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Air Sons, a crazy for Gemini. Four swords right here reverse in the wheel of fortune. See, somebody didn't contemplate something that was doing here some type of way. Right? Even could be some magic spell that somebody really was doing. This card right here, the starman is the magician. It's number one in Major Arcana. Okay? So some magic spell they was doing. The fool. Mm -hmm. Okay? Could be a black magic spell with those horns right there. Or, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Four swords reverse though, they didn't contemplate that you was gonna heal. Four swords reverse, they didn't contemplate right here that um something here would be fate or destiny. Yeah, because I was getting this one rune over here, right? Hackalaws. It represent wrath, nature, right? So I'm getting like somebody didn't under, didn't realize right here something here was gonna be fate or destiny or turning point in your life and they was doing a black magic ma black magic spoon oh my god there's a black magic spell okay now look at that i feel like some people ancestors showed up see all that huh 
They didn't realize your ancestors showed up. Or they didn't realize some deity that was dealing with was for you. Or something like that could be the case. Okay? We'll get right here. Hmm? The fool. They can't they can't ask for you for some people here. Because I feel like your ancestors definitely showed up right here. It's like, oh no, no, no. Something here is fate or destiny in some type of way, right? They never contemplated that when they was doing some black magic spell or whoever this is right here. Right? Or that you was gonna be consciously aware. Or somebody that's attached to the magician or the Gemini, the Virgo, or the Aries. They're constantly aware. Hmm. Chow, chow, chow. Somebody's ancestors showed up, I feel, right here. Definitely. Okay. What else? Air signs right here. Before you sleep with Gemini. Tower. I told you. I told you. It's right here. It's a tower. A big revelation. A big understanding. A big disruption to somebody's magic. It's right here. Big disruption. Now, this also represents a big understanding about magic spells or nature or the raft of God, the universe, the most high, whatever you call it, energy right there. Okay? Look at this card right here. Hmm? And look how she's looking right there. Like, I tamed the freaking beast or something like that. Hmm? Somebody tames something here, some type of way I feel. Okay? What's the message here? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Message here. Page of Wands. Yeah. The fool. You can see something here. Look at her eye. She got a fireball flying out her eye. Right? That you can see something right here. Page of Wands. That she was curious about something. Could be the case. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody feels foolish right here. That this Aries is protected or that you're protected over here. Something like that. Okay. But it's definitely a tower to some magic spell, I feel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got eyes right here. See this eye? There's an eye there, too. Right? Because I feel like the universe sees all, something like that. Okay? And then we got the fire right here. Right? Right? Hmm. Somebody can see them clear, I feel, right here. Yeah, page of swords. Somebody can be spying on them, maybe. Could be. See how it is? I'm definitely getting somebody's ancestors showed up. I'm getting like dust period, okay? Or well, somebody did realize about magic spell or they realized how to protect themselves or whatever. I'm getting like in the spiritual realm, protection. Somebody even could have done it, I feel. Because this card right here, I keep feeling like they did right here. They tamed that dead one beast right there. They tamed it for some people here. Hmm? And see how she taming it, okay? She just straight looking at it in the eye. Right? She was looking at it right in the eye, like, no, you won't, or no, you don't, or something like that, right? Yeah, or your strength came strong, or something like that. So, message here, please. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Hmm. Hmm. Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay. Page of Cups right here. It's fate. Such as will be hopeless right here. All right? Right? Or it's fate right here, right? Yeah. See, something here is going to end. I'm getting right here. See the skeleton right there? And the skeleton right there. Or this is somebody's ancestors once again. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, so the page of cups right here. See, it's fate. Somebody wants to come back over here, offer you something. Okay, it could be somebody from a past life or whatever. But I'm feeling like, you know, somebody's ancestors are part of something right here. It's just too many of them here. They're showing up right here with it right there. It's like, you're sure enough protected, like, for real, okay? So I'm sure if you're protected from here, I'm getting here, okay? Are you really, really, really protected right here, air signs? That's what I'm getting right here. Okay. So much pressure, please. Whisper, holy angels. Air signs right here. Aquarius, sleep in general. I just feel like that's so unexpected to somebody right here. Definitely. This could be somebody here from the past. Yeah, something that happened right here in the past. All right? Somebody seen it. Okay? Some magic spell is a tower. Somebody already seen it, I feel. Okay? Could be a Capricorn. I'm getting some black magic. That's what I'm getting right here. Okay? So the devil card is right here, right? This is the page of cups right here. All right? And this is the page of cups. So we have the prince and the princess of cups right here. Okay. Now let me take a look here. Now I got the devil and the magician card, right? 
So I feel like this is a black magic spell that somebody was doing over here. Okay. They didn't contemplate you was protected big time. Okay. They did not contemplate that right there. They didn't, they didn't contemplate that. I'm getting right here. They're going to realize right now that the wrath of the universe or God or your angels, whatever you call it, is going to affect them in some type of way. Okay. You, you're too protected right here. Look at this one. I. There could be somebody here with a patch on their eye. They're protected. Something like that. But they're protected right here. Okay. It could be a Capricorn. But anybody or Aries or anybody else. Something like they're protected right here. Okay. They didn't contemplate right here how you was gonna have this for real strength right here. Or the strength of your ancestors or something like that. They didn't realize who they was dealing with. I feel like somebody definitely did not realize who they was dealing with right here. In the past when they was doing something right here. Okay. They feel foolish. I feel for some people right here. Hmm. I'm here with somebody say, take one more step, right? Yeah, take one more step. I feel something about their feet could be the case. Maybe something is about somebody's feet. Okay, but it's like, take one more step, right? Okay. I feel like they're highlighted. Something they was doing is highlighted right there. I could just think. It's a full moon and no more. Something like that. Could be the case. They just didn't realize this. I feel like they definitely didn't realize. I feel like this caught them so much off guard. How you had all this strength right here. Or that you had your ancestors by your back. By your side or whatever. That was, that was definitely caught off guard right here. Could definitely be air, um, water sign right here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like they get high. I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But right here, these these right here. Okay, I feel like this is, you know, going upwards. Okay, I feel like somebody feels like, you know, either you make them high or that they, they get high or something like that. Okay. It could definitely be a water sign or anybody else. I feel like somebody was consciously aware of the water sign right here. Some actions that somebody was taking here in the past. I just feel like... They didn't realize it's going to be hopeless. They didn't realize you're going to be destroyed. They didn't realize that your ancestors were going to step into something here. They just didn't realize all these things right here. They just didn't realize your child was protected or that your children is protected. Stuff like that. They didn't realize right here. Yeah, Queen of Swords right there. Look at you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. Okay. They didn't realize you was intelligent like this right here. They definitely did not. I'm getting like, you see so much. You're so knowledgeable right here. This is eyes up here. Eyes right there. Eye, right? Look at you. You're so knowledgeable and protected or something like that. Or, so I get, the, I get the sense. You're very knowledgeable and protected right here. Okay, it's too hard right here. I'm getting right here. See him? It's too hard right here, right? See these two right there? Trying to have you confused. I feel like it's too hard. It could be a Sagittarius right here, but it's definitely too hard for somebody to do that. Okay, have you confused or something like that, I feel. Right? Hmm. It's too hard because there's too many beings, right? There's too many beings that's all around you. It's too many of them right there, right there. We got babies and everything. I'm going we got it's too hard for somebody to do something like that. <laughs> okay. Because I feel like your intuitive skills is so strong. Okay, something they was doing, it's not going to work. I'm getting like, you have ancestors right here, okay, from back in ancient times. Your knowledge goes deep for some people here. <laughs> they didn't know that. So somebody definitely didn't know that, okay? But anybody that's what I have right here in this message now, all right? Thank you so much for taking a look here. I send you all peace, blessings, love, and light. And let me know what you thought about the new cards right here, okay? Namaste to you, this arrow.